Hi, good evening guys. Um, just another quick sort of like video. Somebody's, um, every now and then I get to people ask me how, you know, how do you balance your plane then? Um, there's so many different ways. Um, a lot of you guys will stick the finger underneath the, the wing cord and, and then balancing it that way. Uh, but you can um, get a uh, balance balancer, which is totally made uh, to do the job. Um, and this is what I've got. Um, as you can see, my uh, Extreme Flight uh, Volix is on a balancer at the moment. And um, so if you move it, in any way, um, it'll 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 tilt in any way. Um, that is because it's balanced, um, and it's balanced in you know in the center, as you can see, is it's balancing itself, and um, that's how that's basically how you do it. Um, so it's very very sensitive and accurate. So basically, that is balanced. Um, right in the middle uh, where the CG is supposed to be. Um, and I'm going to show you this uh, little gadget, that um, the balance of what it, uh, how it works and um, what it would do. Um, as you can see, it's on the balancer. Um, basically, um, if I just, you, you always, um, you always balance your airplane with the battery in uh, when it's ready to fly and that's how you you know balance it i'm just going to take it off the balancer and then show you guys okay okay right so basically you've got this frame here with a little ball at the end as you can see and you've got two of them so if i move it to here you can see um all right and the ball goes into here this bit here goes against your leading edge of your wing so when it's on here um it'll it'll tilt and it'll rock it's quite a clever little gadget um that is rub rubberized at the top so if you have a heavier aircraft on top it's so it doesn't scratch or damage damage your uh, aircraft as you can see um this here slide forward and backwards for the obviously for the size of your aircraft uh, and where the CG is supposed to be and you can see can you see the numbers on the on the balancing ruler you've got numbers here which is in millimeters so when the manufacturer say to you yeah it's 100 mil from your leading edge you will set it at 100 mil uh, which is here and you lock it up um, it's even got a little dot here um, that it tells you you're on 100 mil so this is uh, basically how it works that bit goes towards your leading edge, against your leading edge, and then it sits on the balancer, both of them, and then you put your your wing on these points here. And then that goes against your leading edge. And then you can tell whether, whichever way it, way it rocks 
um, you, then you can tell whether the aircraft is balanced or not. So if it's, you know, obviously if it rocks at the back, then it's tail heavy. If it rocks at the front, then it's nose heavy. So then you can shift your battery about and balancing it up that way and mark your battery, then you know that it's, um, it's balanced at a certain point. And and this is pretty much it. And um, you can get this from Hobby King. Um, this is where I got mine from, Hobby King. They do set, I think they do a couple of different balancing um, uh, tool, but this is the one I used myself and I find it's really, really, really good. Um, each time I get an aircraft up in the air, before I get an aircraft up in the air, and, and um, this is what I use to balance it up um, before it goes up. So I'm just playing it safe, that's all. And as I say, you've got this little screw here that it turns, and then once it's loosened, you can move it forward and backwards. And it's obviously marked, and that's what it is. And that's pretty much it, guys. And um, as I say, you can get it from Hobby King. Um, it doesn't doesn't cost a lot. Uh, the whole of this frame will expand, as you can see the rods. You can, you know, push push it to make it larger, so it will go into larger fuselage and a larger aircraft. So and that's what I use. It's pretty clever, clever gadget. So. And that's, um, that's all for now, guys. And I will catch you next time around. And if you like what I do, um, it's just a quick product review this time around. If you like what I do, you know what to do. Give me the thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you very much, guys. Speak to you soon.